So I've been testing out the iPad mini as my daily driver for the past several weeks now, and it's turned out to be a productivity powerhouse. In this video, I'm going to go through some of the ways I've been using the iPad mini and how you can maximize your productivity with it as well. So I've been using the larger iPad Pro 12.9 inch for several years now, ever since it first came out, and I absolutely love that thing. But I gotta say, the size of the iPad mini makes it pretty much, I would say, the most versatile iPad to date. Because it's so small, I literally don't mind taking it with me anywhere. It literally fits in my pocket. So let's talk about some of my use cases here and how I've made this fit into my daily lifestyle. Firstly, it's my note-taking solution. Now, the reason why I gravitate towards a digital note-taking solution rather than an analog one, uh, it's just a lot more practical for me and the way I live my life. I love how things kind of sync across all my devices, whether it's my Mac, my iPad, my iPhone, and making my notes and ideas pretty much accessible anywhere. I can even bring in inspiration directly from the internet into my workflow. So if there's tons of usability benefits, like multiple tools and colors with just one pen, for example, all I need is this guy and I have like a paintbrush, I have an eraser, I have a pen, a pencil, crayons, whatever I need, multiple different colors, you get the idea. And another cool thing is I can even search up notes and now with the iPad's new software, even handwritten notes, I can actually search them in my database. So all in all, as a note taker, I love the iPad mini. The next way I use my iPad mini is as a digital planner. As someone who's constantly trying to balance so many different things in my life, I need to constantly update my calendar and my to-do list in order to stay on top of things. The iPad mini I find is the perfect size for that. It's bigger than my iPhone, so I get more real estate, yet it's small enough to be more convenient than a laptop or an iPad Pro. So as a digital planner, I think it's a win. Next, I'd say it's perfect for viewing documents and contracts because as somebody who makes YouTube videos and is in the business of you know content creation, there's a lot of contracts and a lot of documents that come through in my email. And this is just perfect because I can just open it up right on the iPad and I have the Apple Pencil to just sign off or make any edits or anything like that while I'm reading it, take notes to myself or sign off the document initially and just send it through right through the email. This literally makes my entire workflow a lot quicker Quicker, and the iPad mini is small enough for me to literally do this anywhere outside, whether it's in the car or outdoors. Another use of my iPad mini is entertainment. Yeah, I guess this is like a productivity video, but I mean, I, I just had to throw this in there because I find it to be a great entertainment platform. Uh, having a larger screen than my phone makes it perfect for just kind of carrying it on my house, you know, just lying down on the couch or bed and to just some watch something quickly on the go, whether it's YouTube or even playing a game. It's light and small enough for me to hold my hand while playing Pokemon Unite or any other game for that matter of fact and it's a great experience on the mini it's just so much fun to like kick back on the couch with this little device and like follow up on statistics for YouTube or anything like that so I think it's a perfect consumption device as well and not to mention having this paired with like the smart folio I find like this I can just prop this up anywhere. So it allows me to prop it up this way or like, you know, put it down where it's like this. So if I'm like running chores, like folding laundry or anything like that, I can just prop it up anywhere and kind of just have like a podcast or something playing while I get my work done. It's, it's pretty cool. Next up, the iPad mini has made my emails and workflow a little bit better. And I wasn't sure this was going to be a good typing experience personally when I first picked up the iPad mini because other iPads, it's really tough to type on. You kind of got to use like one hand or it's super clunky and you have to like use a keyboard or something with it. But with the iPad mini, it wasn't much of a hindrance. Yes, it's not ideal like the iPhone, but I could run through an email or type up some quick notes without any issues, which brings me to today's sponsor, Superhuman Email. If you're someone who gets like bombarded with email on a daily basis, this is something you might want to give a try. It's got this beautifully designed, minimal, quick interface, and that's the first thing you'll notice right off the bat. And the way the entire UI is designed is it encourages you to use keyboard shortcuts to get through your inbox as quick as possible. On the iPad or iPhone, the app is equally well designed with an added touch interface. You can use the same shortcuts on a keyboard, or you can use two fingers to tap on the screen to bring them up. Now, once you send an email, let's say you notice an error, you can quickly unsend it at that point and it'll come back for you to edit. Now, let's say you want to send it at a later date, you can do that. Let's say you have an important email that you're sending out and you want to follow up on this, you can set that reminder right off the bat here. You can even set it up so that when somebody opens the email, 
you'll be able to see who's opened it, how many times they've opened it, and what times they have opened it. There's a ton of shortcuts here, and I don't have time to go through all of them, but basically you can hit Command K and it'll pull up all your shortcuts. Like for example, let's say you wanna unsubscribe to a particular email and trash all of them from the sender. Then you can select it with your keyboard and hit enter. I also like that the section here on the right is used to provide relevant info on the person who's sending the email, like their LinkedIn or their social profiles. And also if you type in a date or anything like that, it'll literally pull up your calendar on the side so you can see what your day looks like on that day. All that being said, Superhuman is 30 bucks a month. But if you're someone like me who spends a lot of time in their email, then the cumulative time savings and organizational benefits could be worth the investment. In any case, if you're interested, link in the description down below. The next way I like to use my iPad mini is like a sketch pad. Sketching is a pretty important part of my job, whether I'm coming up with a storyboard of what kind of shots I wanna have in a particular video, or I wanna sketch out a thumbnail so that I can help visualize what kind of photo I wanna take. I can literally hold the iPad mini in like one hand and like sketch things down, which makes it pretty convenient to use as a sketch pad. Next up, editing photos. Now the editing photo experience on the iPad mini is drastically better than my iPhone, obviously, because I have the Apple Pencil, plus it's a larger screen. It's just an overall better experience. It's so nice to, you know, go outside, uh, you know, take a couple photos with my phone, airdrop it to my iPad mini, open up Lightroom or Photoshop, and quickly complete the edit even before I get home to my computer. And last but not least, I sometimes use this as my camera monitor. Now, it's small enough for me to take anywhere without having to take, like, an actual, like, camera monitor that I'm using right now to, like, view myself, but it's large enough and also convenient enough to carry with you. So if you're somebody who, you know, films content yourself, it's a great camera monitor. All right, so those are some of the ways I use my iPad mini on a daily basis. Now there's two important things I wanna mention here. Firstly, if you're thinking that, you know, by getting the iPad mini, you're gonna become somebody who journals and wakes up earlier and, you know, starts taking down notes, scheduling, doing all of these things, starting a business just because you got an iPad mini. Yeah, that it doesn't work like that. You don't really need the iPad mini to get started on all of those things. Use whatever you have at home. So whether that's paper and pencil, then go for it, just get started. The second thing I wanna mention, now I know a lot of these things that I mentioned today were super positive about the iPad mini, but there are a bunch of things I don't like about it. Uh, and I've been pretty vocal about that on Twitter, kind of like the guy yelling at the clouds, you know? For example, I'm not a fan of the screen on this and the tech behind it, it feels a little bit dated to me, but I'll be talking more about that in my iPad mini review when it comes out. There's just way too many things happening right now in the tech space. In any case, I would love to hear how you guys use your iPads or any of your computers or anything like that to be productive. I love hearing about productivity tips and tricks. So leave them in the comment section down below. Hopefully I can benefit from you guys as well. And if you guys found benefit from my video, I would really appreciate a like and a comment on this video. And if you could sub to the channel, that would really make my day help me pay my bills and uh, yeah. In any case, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, stay blessed, peace. All right, I'm gonna go back to Pokemon Unite now. See you guys, see you guys later.